today we're going to go over something that I've been trying to go through for quite a long time but for some reason has always crashed and I finally figured out what it is I've been doing wrong if you could count it as doing it wrong. Anyway, here is the vehicle that we've made plenty of times with a few additions of working underneath it. Right, so to teleport it in a given direction, the first thing you're going to need to do, right, also, well, I'm going to have to spawn it. Hover drive controller, right. The, this always crashed for me, um, no matter what I did. I, every time I tried it, and there was nothing wrong with my logic, there was nothing wrong with what I was doing. In fact, I've tested every possible scenario, and the only thing I realise that makes it crash is if I use normal hover balls instead of wire ones. You can, I, I've even tried it using no hover balls at all, and that's just worked as well. So either it's randomly crashing, depending on what on earth I'm doing, or whether it just likes to. Um, okay, I don't need that. I'm going to, first of all, wire up the jump to the keyboard input of ALT and that's because simply I've used everything else possible. I'm also going to put a GPS on the front and that's going oops, that's going to feed in the Z coordinates because obviously if I was to use them elsewhere they, they would probably move down. So then, now all we're doing is the bottom. So. First of all, we need two GPS's, one on the front of the vehicle, about there, and one on the back. Now all this does, it, it, it lets, it, it's a validation that finds out which which direction we're facing. Because obviously, so, what we're going to do is, we're going to subtract the front and the back, fr from the back. Now, I'm using two gates for X and Y, we don't need Z because Z's already taken care of and we can go up or down with the hover balls and it would be senseless to just teleport somewhere randomly in the air when we could just go there anyway. Now, I'm also going to be using colours to coordinate X and Y. So X is going to be blue and Y is going to be red. So, first of all, you want to take away output X from the front, away from output X at the back. Do, 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 do X, right. And there we have a nice little blue wire. Now, this has just given us the distance up according to the x to, to, the, to the world between the two points. Now obviously you can see it's negative which means that the front is in the negative region or the back is in a higher... anyway. It basically it gives out the distance but it gives out the distance in which the car is facing if it was positive. So if, if I was to flip the car completely around you can see that's... that well, should have been positive but you can see it's a different number. Anyway. So. You then need to... well you obviously need... you want to be jumping like forwards a few places so you need a multiply gate and that is to <coughs> get and that is to I increase the, d the the distance of the car so we're going to multiply but I want to have a multiply being able to change so I'm not going to put the, in the multiply values just yet and then finally to teleport you're going to want an add gate to take in your current value of where you are so that is going to be a, is going to be the current x value plus B, which is the distance you are jumping. So, now that that's wired up, I'm going to do... I might as well do the middle bit as well now. So, what we're going to have is we're going to have an arithmetic round, because obviously we don't want to be multiplying by random whole numbers. We're going to have a time accumulator, and that's to increase or decrease the magnitude. We're going to ha and then we're going to have an arithmetic add and arithmetic negate to go up and down from the pod controller. So, there's negate and there's add. So, wire this all up, and it's going to be round the accumulator. The accumulator rounds on add. Add is oh, the negate. The negate is mouse 2 for going down, and the add is mouse 1 for going up. And then, back to rope, we will multiply... Oh, I haven't even put that in. We're going to multiply the subtract by the round gate. So at the moment it's just zero, so the add gate is just the current x coordinate, which is all that really needs to be done. <coughs> which means that you won't teleport. You'll, you'll just teleport the exact same place. So we're going to do the same for y, and this is quite a difficult thing to get your head around. So don't feel, you know, strange. You could you could just follow it step by step, but I'm not really that <laughs> that great at explaining what I'm doing here because I don't quite understand what I'm doing. That's a bad thing to say. Um, 
right and then multiply the current and then add the current y coordinate to the added y coordinate so now you can see I know I haven't wired it up so oh I also need to wire the magnitude of the jump to this round gate just so I know how far I'm going okay and now you can see when I hop in my car that if I was to set the magnitude of the jump as 3 you can see on the back that the distance between them is in minus 0.2 I've multiplied that by 3 and that's minus 0.7 which adds on and you know it's kind of it's kind of no distance at all because the x-axis might be this might be facing the y-axis so it's just no dis it's no change on the x at all but if you look on the, on the y you can see that's 498 distance which is really mess which is really tell like jumping quite a distance well not quite a distance but it's still increased more than the x because it's facing the y-axis and not the x-axis which would be that way anyway rambling so what we need to do now is just wire up uh, the hover drive controller so y which is red will go to the add on the bottom and the blue which is the x will get wired to the x jump target on the add on this side so there we have it and that is hopefully not to crash again because if this crashes again I'm going to be so angry right so driving along and then jump no it's alt jump there we go you can see I'm further ahead if I was to turn back I'm so glad it's worked right there and if I was to jump round about now you can see I'm now above it if I was to do it again yep and there's someone asking us if I don't break it anymore be quiet you go away there we go. Now, obviously, if I was to increase the uh, the jump magnitude to let's say seven, alt, you can see I'm even much further. Away. Oh, I'm not even that far away from it. Obviously, the higher the magnitude you go, the um, the bigger your jump's going to be. So, if I was to say twelve and jump over here, I'm even I'm even further away than I was before. And that's basically what you can do. You can just drive along. You can. Uh, I haven't got a button to reset the magnitude, so you, I'm going to have to scroll up and down. You could obviously, you know, if you're not using as much crazy stuff on here, I can just jump and I'll go. And I can just do this as many times as I want in whichever direction I like. So, and then I'm close to the edge of the map, and again, and again. And I'm, you know, I can just get around the map like this if I wanted to. You know, if you're just driving along and you just want to go, ah, get out of here, ah, and then you, and then you go, you teleport. And it's just what you like. Obviously, you can use increased numbers. You can use constant values instead of a round gate. You can use any. You can use buttons. But as long as you do the logic on the bottom, then you're sorted. So, thank you for watching. I hope this has been informative. And I'm so glad it hasn't crashed because otherwise I would have cried. See you next time. Goodbye.